Hello everybody, this is Lolly. I'm trying to back up tall enough so you can see this. This is the garden pole post that I just painted in class. I will give you the information of where I did this. This is 60 inches tall and it is a 4x4 four four post. So they gave us these posts in class. They were pre-painted the light blue, which is really pretty. It's kind of like a robin's egg blue. And then we they gave us all the supplies to so just paint how we will. So um, I hand lettered the welcome. I think what I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to do like black with white polka dots up here on one side and the next side would be white with black polka dots and do that all the way around. So I did the welcome and then I have flowers down here. I didn't do the bottom because I want to have some kind of a stand to hold it up. Now let me pause this and turn it around. And this is the next side. Let me back up so you can see. I went ahead and did my YouTube channel name on it. And you can see that the flower, this here wrapped around. And here's the, and this is all hand lettered as well. I free handed the welcome and the lolly. I'm just going to turn it around now instead of pausing the video. Okay. And this word I did inspire, also free handed. More of the same flowers. And this flower wraps around as well. Let me pull this over now. And this one says create, and that is also free-handed. So I loved um, being in the class. The nice thing is that I was able to use, you know, all of their colors of paint. Yeah, you in the reflection, you can see what's on my floor here. <laughs> These are for exercises. <laughs> anyway, so here you can see from an angle what these look like. Very fun, very fun project. It was a, um, it was three days, one, three hours one day and three hours the next. And so, but they let us stay extra and some people couldn't get theirs done or couldn't come back the second day. So, um, you know, we're allowed to come back at, at odd times and finish it up. But, and this is the name of the studio is Magpies in Fort Collins, Colorado. I did use some stenciling down here. You can see right there, some stenciling. Um, very little bit though. Everything else is just free-handed. Some things like these letters I drew out with a pencil before painting them in. Um, and some things like the flowers I just drew freehand without, like that, with a paintbrush without pre-drawing them out. So took my chances. Same thing with all the like the little scallopy things. It's just freehand drawn. Okay, so very fun project. So these are mostly acrylics paints. Some are chalk paints and basically um, when I'm done, when I when I finish this top part portion here, I'm going to see my hands are all painty. <laughs> when I'm done, and then I take a polycrylic sealer to it. If this were to be an outdoor um, garden post, then I would use outdoor polycrylic sealer. But this is going to be an indoor one. I think it's going to go in my craft area. And I'm just going to see if my husband would bless me with a stand for it. So it'll have a way of standing up. And so I can use an indoor polycrylic sealer. And I'm sure they make them as sprays as well. But mine is a paint on one. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that with a brush. And it's, it's I don't know how much it is. I mean, I think it's a quart or so. Or maybe half a quart. I'm not sure. But it's it's enough to get me through this project, I'm pretty sure. Just going one more close up on these. That's it, very, very fun. Thank you so much for watching and giving me a thumbs up on the video and subscribing to my channel.